this one in the air down the line to left. That's a fair ball, and that's gone. Home run, Nick Senzel. Another pitch on the inner half of the plate where Senzel could get the head of the bat to it. Oh, oh that's cranked. Rugnet Odor has left the building. His first Oriole home run. Driving one through the rain and into the seats in right center. It's four to one. That's what we've been waiting on. A little long ball action from Rudnett Odor. Boy, you talk about getting every bit of one. And boy, he knew it, pimped it at home plate. Here comes a delay. Marvin Hudson's going to take the players off the field. It doesn't feel like it's raining that much harder than it's been, but maybe just the accumulation of rain has caused the delay. Brandon Hyde's going to get an answer. Juice. And Mateo here down the right field line. That's a fair ball. That, kids, is going to be a game breaker. Urias and Nevin are in. Ben Boom to third. A two-run double for a five-run Oriole advantage. And a nice backside single, or double, rather. Look at four-seam fastball, but it runs back out over the plate. Jorge Mateo inside out. Swing shoots it down the right field line. Drill to left field. That's a hit. That'll bring in two more. Anthony hustling to first. He will hold there. Mateo's two run double followed two batters later by Santander's two run single. And the Orioles have well and truly broken it open now. Orioles two for three here. Make it three for four. A hard hop off the mound into center field. Santander's coming home and he's safe. As Hernandez's throw was slightly up the third base line. Ryan hustles to second on an RBI single. It's nine to one and a sixth run sixth. Contact accomplished up the middle. Soto scores. Here comes Cruz. Throw to the plate. It's going to be cut off and the Nationals lead three nothing. Yadiel Hernandez in a two strike count drives in his eighth and ninth runs but nothing bigger than this one right here stays middle of the field and a ball well hit out to left center trying to plug the gap and it will short hop that's about 375 the other way where that ball hit the wall and Yadiel Hernandez in this series is now four for seven with a walk. Hernandez right out toward that big gap. Ball's going to drop, go to the wall. Two runs have scored. Here comes Josh Bell. And as if by design, Yadiel Hernandez clears the bases. What? Hello, it's 11 to 5. What an answer back, but what a swing right here. Bouncing ball off the glove of Hosmer. Slows it down. Keep Ryan Hayes in the third. Rebello very aggressive. Waved home Hayes. Did he get the hand in? Correction of the out call at home plate. Well, the Pirates in extra innings are going to get themselves an extra, an extra challenge. Keep oh. Ryan off on the pitch, and Brian Reynolds pulls his hands in. Keep Ryan trying to go first to third. It looks like he's. I think be he's safe. in. He's going to be in. <laughs> This is going to be fun. We'll listen to the umpire tell the crowd what we know. Crew chief Mark Wegner. The Pirates are going to walk it off in unbelievable fashion tonight. Here it is. The call. After the review, the call in the field is overturned. The runner is safe. <laughs> How about that? Now base is loaded here in the eighth. Garcia hits this ball well out to right field. That one could be trouble. It's down. That'll be extra bases. It clears him. A three-run duo. And Adolis Garcia delivers again against the Astros. It's six to two. Watch him out of the box. He gave it a ride. <laughs> so throwing his bat turns into a double. He's got to hustle to pick it up a little bit. All three runners coming around. Have a little ground ball up the middle. 
Oh. How about a line drive into left field. That'll get a second run home. Here's Santana, and the throw is offline. Kyle Isbell with two outs, drives in Benintendi and Santana, and the Royals come up with three on one hit in the 10th inning. Oh, man, that was excellent. I mean, we'll take the gift, but he earned that one. Fastball right down the middle. Couldn't have put it in a better place. Fly ball hit into right center. He hit it pretty well. Back of the warning track at the wall. The overhang. Two-run homer, David Peralta. And the Diamondbacks grab a 5-3 lead. He knew it as soon as he hit it, too. He stand there, little ad admiration. Just wants to watch it travel. Beautiful swing. Everything right there. Strike three call. He painted the outside corner. So the double play helps. Blackburn, he strikes out. Flores, 1-0 A's. Belt grounds it. Brown has it to second for one. Back to first. Got him. Double play. Wow. Third double play in three innings, and Blackburn somehow gets out of the jam. Wilmer Flores swings and misses. Second strikeout for Blackburn. And he got him swinging. So Ruff thought he had a walk. He ends up striking out. So a good inning for Paul Blackburn. One nothing A's after four. And that's a swing and a miss. Off speed and Vossler chased it. Keeping the strikes on. That's a fair ball into the right field corner. Candelario will score. They're going to wave home. Nope, they're going to hold on at third base there for Harold Castro. And Javier Baez delivers yet again. He's got himself an RBI double with two outs here in the seventh, and he's given the Tigers the lead. That's Hammer. Fair ball down the line. Head to the corner. Half around third. Ian's in to score. Contreras replaces him at second. And just like that, Cubs on top 4-3. That was a bullet. Yeah, line drive off the bat of Contreras here. This fastball kind of drifts right into his wheelhouse. Great looking swing from Wilson Contreras. That head just explodes through the zone. Fastball that's driven. Deep left center field. Pache is back on the track. He can't get it. It's off the wall. Cleveland takes the lead as Miller scores. Jimenez slides home safely. 3-1 Cleveland. Richie Palacios with a huge pinch hit. And Cleveland has the lead. And he just gets down and drives that thing deep. Fly ball. Center field. Nimmo's going back toward the track. It is gone! And the Phillies take the lead. Kyle Schwarber golfs one out of the yard. It's his fifth home run of the year. It's a 2-1 Phil's lead. Bounding ball in the middle, picked off by Bichette, and off target. And another one for him into left field. Ploiecki will have to stop as he takes the turnaround third, and the bases are going to be loaded. Slicer, and he's got another three-hit game. Three for three tonight. For Xander Bogarts for the seventh time already this season. Three hits in a right, game. He is amazing. Hot shot and another hit. A glancing blow. Here comes the runner. Story trying to score a play at the plate. It's up the line and late. And Bogey strikes again to make it six to one. Yeah, how aggressive is Story on the bases at second base? And Bogey again, his fourth hit of the night. And Matt drives it to the right field corner. Blackman will score. Flying around the bases is Gritchick. He'll get a green light. And he'll score easily back toward third. Two run stand up triple. So he watches one go by and then he waits on that slider. This is something that he noticed the entire evening. Majority of the pitches McMahon's seen tonight have been secondary pitches, so he knows it's coming. Never stops. When a ball gets hit down that right field line. High in the air, right center field. Trout back at the wall. It is gone. Well, this is the at bat this time that I thought he was going to have last time. 
A three run bomb. His third of the year. He's got six driven in and what a presence he is in this lineup when he is entirely healthy. Always a pleasure to see this one. The second home run of the day our Ford home run replay. He keeps this out away from Luis who is so enormously strong that he's pretty sure that one's leaving the ballpark. Wind or no wind Harrison knows it's gone. He can hear it and there's a sound that if you're a hitter or a pitcher unmistakable you know that it's gone. High drive down the right field line. It's towards the foul pole. That ball is gone. Home run. He's done it again. JB is fired up as Kyle Tucker drives in his eighth and ninth run of the series, and the Astros lead it three to one. Looked like he got a hanging slider that he pummeled to right field. A drive to left field. He has done it again. Unbelievable. Three strikeouts to start his day. And they didn't matter in the end because he hit the game tying two run homer. Then you challenge him in the 10th inning. You got a base open right here, a 3 1 count. You go right at him. And he hit an absolute bomb. The Chicago losing streak has reached seven. My goodness, what a dramatic home run by Byron Buxton. Well, you beat him up in the zone a couple of times earlier in the ball game. He didn't get that one high enough, and he knew it immediately. Everybody on the field knew it. <laughs> that was the fourth section over. I've never seen a ball hit up there in the upper deck. That is unbelievable. He'll chase the second time. Didn't have to chase. He looks at one outside corner. Luzardo strikes out the side in the second. Scoreless. Pinballs around. Yeah, well, how would you be? The best part about it is I was texting the two of you. Well. Called strike three. Back to back strikeouts. And that's five for Luzardo. He got caught looking his first at bat on the slide ball. Right there, a little frozen pizza, four seams stuck. Good job of Peyton Henry presenting that. Ground ball. Miggy gets a good hop. And that is six good innings for Jesus Luzardo. First pitch swinging over Choi into right field. Murphy is in. Julio is right behind him. He scores standing. Meanwhile, on his way home, a headlong slide. Dylan Moore is safe all the way from first. And here you go. Bounces it down the line over Choi. Keeps it fair. Check swing. Flare over first. It's a base hit. Here comes Travis. He'll fly around and score. And the Braves get a huge break and their first run. It's a 2 1 game. A check swing single and RBI for Ronald Acuna Jr. And now here, Ronald trying to stop his swing on a slider and watch this just over the head. And Ronald with a single in his first RBI of the year. Bader hits it up to deep left. It's at the wall. Gone. It's gone. Bader, two run blast. Birds on top here in the seventh. What a time for your first home run in 2022. Harrison had fouled off a tough slider beforehand. Middleton goes with the fastball, tries to get in on him. Just talked about how fast the hands of Harrison Bader already showed him off right there. What a swing. That's a fly ball. Right field. And deep. And Grand slam. Taylor Ward. It's 6-2 Halos. I thought you said only. Think take about one. Pick one. Take four. There it is. Wade gets the hit on the bunt. So much for that, that dead baseball. He crushed that thing. Give it to him. Well, this might be already a call to the bullpen. 
I'll tell you what, I'm going to give a little uh, breaking news. Let's hear it. i got to get my paper going right here. Yeah, yeah. Taylor Ward is pretty good. <laughs> he is having a great season. That's his fourth homer. We saw the multi-homer earlier. Like a, that looked like a little spinning breaking ball, or it could have been a four seam, but it was flat. But what a swing. Thinking up the middle, stays back on it. And a ground ball. It's kicked by Flex into that open spot on the left side. The run will score, and the Rays take a two to one lead. They had just moved Toro over toward the bag at second. And the 0 2 pitch deflected by Flexen to the normal shortstop spot and beyond, and the Rays grab the lead. On the ground and by the dive of Otto at first base. In comes Campusano from third, Grisham behind him. And they're going to try and score from first base. Ha Sung Kim, he will score. It's a triple, and a bases clearing triple at that for Jake Cronenworth. And the Padres have taken a 9 1 lead. Hard hit ball and Cronenworth's second hit of the night. It's a triple that clears the bases. McCutcheon. How about a line drive? Off the glove and into right center. One run is in. Here comes Colton Wong to score. And just like that, the Brewers have taken a 3-2 lead. Boy, Van Meter squeezes that. The game is over and the Pirates win. Right off the leather of Van Meter. And it's a two-run knock for McCutcheon. Wow, after everybody having to wait on all these balls, this right here, everyone held their breath in this entire stadium, scoring two big ones right there. Andrew McCutcheon, have a day. 2-2. Two -two. Gonzalez, high drive down the right field line, hooking toward the corner, and it is gone! A home run for Luis Gonzalez! His first big league home run puts the Giants ahead 4-2. Well, on the fourth fastball he saw on this count, he timed it just right. 3 2 again. High and deep to left. McCormick back, jumps, gone. Springer gets just enough to send it over the fence, and the Blue Jays have a 1 0 lead. Another leadoff home run for George Springer. Away, away, and then Tabby, he left one over the middle of the plate. And there's the breaking ball right there. Boy, it's such a great sight to see these two at the top of the lineup doing their thing. First, George Springer, home run number five, just into the bullpen. The guy who got him, got him to lead off the bottom of the first, and that's this guy, George Springer. Really good in Houston, even better as the Blue Jays. He reaches for this one. It's got some carry, and it is gone. Second home run of the afternoon for George Springer. Such a nice, easy swing, and that ball just jumps off of his bat. He gets to wear the jacket for the second time this afternoon. Really, that one was prettier than the other one. It's the 1-0. Swung on and driven in the air to deep right center. That ball is high. It is far. It is gone. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> A Stantonian home run. Giancarlo. No see to Parlo. And the Yankees immediately take a 2-0 lead. There's nothing, Susan, like getting a two-run lead in the first number. Uh, absolutely. Career homer number 350. He struck him out. Five Met pitchers combined for the second no-hitter in New York Mets history. Edwin Diaz puts on the finishing touches, striking out the side of the ninth inning, and the Mets celebrate their second ever no-hitter, started by Tom Orr McGill, finished by Edwin Diaz, as the Mets no-hit the Phillies. Let's see, on 2-2. Two -two. Nope. You get a change and you get a strikeout to finish off another one, two, three inning for Walker Bueller, who's retired 10 straight. K's for Bueller, no walks. He's given up just two singles, one in the second, one in the third. Nothing but zeros. Here's his one, two. Got him. Kelly chases a fastball. Bueller gets his ninth K. Oh, two. His 10th strikeout comes on a curve. Curveball, a dirty pitch, so much success tonight with it. 
For this next pitch, it'll be the most that anybody's thrown in a game this year. The set for the 0 2. Deep line drive, but Bellinger's there, and Walker Buehler has gone the distance. He does what nobody's doing. The first complete game of 2022.